hello guys welcome back to my video and in today's video we're going to be making a scratch noise detector which actually looks pretty cool if you ask me and we might be adding sparks and shock waves and stuff like that later but we're just gonna focus on the visuals today and don't forget to like subscribe and share and I guess we'll get on with the video and the first thing I want you to do is go to the costumes tab tick the rectangle tool and then draw a about 50 pixels long rectangle and two squares wide right above the center point so don't stick it to the middle oh I drew it perfect 50 pixels by 8 pixels or 8 by 50 actually wrong way around and make sure that the bottom is perfectly aligned with the crosshair or else it would end up looking like a circle that doesn't move it'll look really awkward if you don't so do this and be aware that backpacking would center it so you just need to move it then go back to the code and put a when green flag is clicked i have cap blocks enabled from the scratch extensions so i'll leave a link in the description so put when green flag clicked a hide block and then make a new my block and call it create clones of a mount with a colon and add an input called a mount then run without screen refresh and then press ok put this somewhere else and put the create clone of a mount block in here and put in say 50 into there so it'll create 50 all around in a circle so now you need to make a new sprite and call this center now this center thing will be like the center really so I would say make it a darker blue which I really like and make it say 110 by 110 pixels uh oh too small this is good this is a good size and at this point I'm gonna take the backdrops and make this a more bluish thing oh too blue too bright make this lighter and more saturation so Go to the center, and you may want to just type in zero zero so it goes to the middle. Go back to the UI ver to the UI sprite, and we need to go to the create clones of my mount. Then put a repeat block and replace the ten with an amount. Then create clone of myself, which is pretty confusing if you ask me. And then turn fifteen degrees and change it to turn divide degrees and put a mount on the left side and 360 on the, le on the amount on the right side and the 360 on the left side which means that if you had amount say 10 different ones then around the circle their spacing would be 36 degrees so it's just a bunch of maths and then we need to make a new block which is when I start as a clone put a show and then put a forever loop and in the forever loop put a set size to 100 and then put a plus in the 100 this is very confusing now on the right side put the 100 on its own and then just ignore that it's my cat <laughs> then put the plus on the left and then put a times on the left side and then put 1.5 here and the loudness variable itself over here the very first input then add a pick random 1 to 10 in the only remaining one and then add a divide in the last one and then a minus in here and a divide in here so look carefully a divide in the second one and a minus with a divide in it in the first one so make this a 3 make this a 3 and make this a zero and then fill the rest with loudness so it's about time we test things out so if you press the green flag you should be able to see that our UI is going crazy right now my backdrop is too strong so I'll just make it a darker blue uh, can I see it yes this is pretty cool there's only one problem um, if, you've, if yours seems a bit like this, weird and squarey, 
then go back to your costumes and you need to make it a bit thinner and then it should look much better and if yours disappears if you stay quiet make it a bit longer so this is about the perfect length where if you stay quiet then it just about peaks out from the top nope just a bit more you can make it thicker again if you like and just do whatever suits and you can see this is actually pretty cool it's a noise detector so if I go really loud then it goes really cool so this looks like a lot of stuff you find in the background but this still doesn't look like enough so I'd say that we add a shaking program to this to make it more effective so make two new variables the only new variables called shake X for all sprites and shake Y for all sprites so you can tell already we're gonna make this thing shake so put this at the bottom and then put a forever loop with an if else in it and put if equals and put pick random one to two equals one then then duplicate this entire thing and put this thing inside the, the then part then duplicate it again and put it in the else so you have four different random inputs and then put a set shake x to take a times block then put a divide or let's say yeah divide and then put 15 in the very last input and loudness in the second to last input and then go to operators and grab the cos of block and change it to the cos of block I mean abs of and then put a times and put this number that I found worked pretty well which is 50,000 which looks like a shake and then put timer in here now duplicate this again and in now this time change it so it's 0 minus loudness you know 0 minus loudness divided by 15 then duplicate it again and again and this time just change it to shake y so now if you see we have a shake x and y variable so right now if I press the green flag you can see they're moving but nothing else is moving so remove them from the screen and then go to when I start as a clone and put a go to x 0 0 and change it to shake x and shake y then go to the center and put a one green flag clicked forever go to x shake x shake y and now you should see that if you shout into it everything starts shaking which actually is one of my favorite features of this so there might be another episode for this thing which is really cool which we had like sparks and explosion shakes and shock waves which looks pretty cool but for now i just like to say don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one